Hey guys, it's Trish. This is going to be your weekly horoscope for April 28th through May 4th. Now, there's an extraordinary amount of information. It took me forever to write this horoscope, and I decided not to put the physical ailments at the bottom just because there's so much information. Okay, so this week we are immediately faced with a decision, T-square. Big girl panty time. Your thinking and communication style will be under review to see where you can grow or what areas you need to be more mature in. Saturn goes retrograde in Capricorn. Daddy's home to make you face your fears and learn from your mistakes. If you've not yet learned, Saturn will spank you in order to let you know you need to grow up and get your life in order as it conjuncts with Pluto. Pluto went retrograde a couple of days ago um, and it should have you facing your own mortality, realizing that you're just too old for this crap, okay? And also wondering just how much time you have left and wondering if it's too late for you. And if there isn't enough to deal with, another decision will be looming in the back of your mind. Are you gonna hide out and be afraid of the changes taking place or will you spread love where you can? This will help the collective lift their own personal vibrations, which will in turn lift the vibrations of the planet, okay? You're the only one who can save yourself, and your job is to let others know not to wait for someone else to save them. They must get up and rise above. Don't wait for a savior by playing the victim. Be the change that you want to see. Tell your story. Share your truth. Evolve or die inside. Extra awareness at this time could prevent travel accidents or misunderstandings. Issues involving contracts, agreements, documents, and children might come to the forefront. There could be some important news that arrives this week that changes the direction in your life. Whatever you do, think before you speak or act. Do not rush to take action on something or you could make the wrong choice. Black Moon Lilith enters Pisces, encouraging us to surrender to the changes happening. Resistance is futile. Trust in the universe to bring you what you deserve. And then the moon moves into Taurus, forming a new moon, conjuncting the sun, shedding light on stubborn roots that need to be killed off. Okay. As we finish off the week facing another decision to follow up on the previous full moon in Libra, this time you need to choose whether to be all in or all out. Okay, Victory will be granted to those who choose to be the victor and not a victim. It's up to you to decide what energy you focus on. Okay, Sunday, the moon is in Aquarius, bringing in idealistic, tolerant humanitarian energy. You combine rationale and intuition to make fully informed decisions. You're charming and persuasive, yet cool, calm, and detached. You're driven by your purpose, and you can visualize what your, what your future could be, okay, and practice using the law of attraction. You have a lot of friends, in your, and you're a social butterfly, okay? You're imaginative, and you have a lot of interesting ideas and theories. With the rebel of the zodiac Aquarius, you should always expect the unexpected. There is a certain quality of shock value at the moment, so watch that filter. <laughs> Some people could be argumentative, have a short temper, or it could be you, okay? Or you could be on the move, restless, never staying in one place for too long. Someone could be unhappy and impulsively or angrily express what they're feeling, creating a confrontation. That could amount to projection, okay? That's going to lead to a confrontation of the self. Everyone is more than aware of where they don't quite measure up by this time. Most of you. Some of you aren't, okay? Some will take responsibility for where they fall short and preemptively strike this previously perpetual cycle and others who are still finding fault in others and blaming others pointing for their own personal unhappiness will try to shift the responsibility of their self to others in order to avoid feeling vulnerable or exposed self-sabotage at its finest but you have a choice you've always had a choice now you will have to decide if you're going to grow up break free from the past that has kept you stunted and face your true destiny in the world okay aquarius loves the unknown and since you're probably guilty of not having any concrete plans this is a good time to jump in head first as you could be blessed with some sort of luck so take that leap of faith okay this is full energy numbers of the day 
I'm just going to let you know, like I said, there was so much information. I didn't put in the physical ailments, and I haven't previewed the numbers either. So I may stumble a little bit. I may repeat, but I'm going to try not to. Okay, so we have 333. Three, three. Ooh, information and knowledge. I like when we have four threes. Okay, then we have four, five, oh, two, three, 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 four, five, ten and eight okay so basically we are we have some balancing of powers or we're you're a powerful powerful team okay and you're working together to fulfill needs this is a manifestation as long as you surrender and recognize some things you will have clarity things will culminate um you're going to get all the information you need right when you need it just have confidence in yourself have confidence in your boundaries okay 21 is the number of authenticity and culmination so there's there's some true authentic power coming through okay as a result of working together on boundaries Monday, the moon moves into Pisces along with Neptune, bringing a loving, spiritual, compassionate energy with it. At this time, your very understanding of the human condition, your extraordinarily intuitive, and your emotions are very instinctual. You have hidden dreams or secret dreams, psychic vision, and you can work tireless, tirelessly and unselfishly for others without expectations because you are the true embodiment of love at this time. You're quite sympathetic, empathetic, and you have the capacity to reach and touch a lot of people. You can create a lasting impression by being your sensitive, romantic self. Saturn goes retrograde today until September 18th, although you might have already felt the energy shadow coming in. It is time to face your reality. You will be confronted with your control, power, or authority issues. You will not be able to escape or take shortcuts this time. It will be relentless. Saturn is also karma, so something will come back for you to review as it does at any retrograde. And this is going to be a second chance to make things right or to do the right thing. This is a time for acknowledgement of your limitations, your strengths, and your weaknesses and failures, okay? Time to build new fences based on mistakes you've made in the past. New promises to the self, okay? Your boundaries, personal boundaries. Nobody can kick your own ass better than you and these karmic retrogrades. <laughs> so you made mistakes. You can stop kicking yourself now. No more self-pity. No more self-punishment. If that is what you want, the universe will uh, gift wrap it for you. Put a bow on it. It'll give you all that you can eat. <laughs> you need to forgive yourself for things you've done wrong or things that you've done wrong in the past. You are learning to do better, to be better. So you have to rise above to ascend into your power instead of trying to gain power over or through others, okay? It's time to start loving yourselves more so that you are capable of loving others and receiving love back. Shadow side tendencies include dissatisfaction, indecision, confusion, illusion, delusion, sorrow, self-undoing, uh, oh, what's that? <laughs> Sabotaging progress due to fear, escapism, checking out, using drugs or alcohol, blaming others, victim mentality, as well as issues with self-discipline. If you're going to do the work, expect this to be a fairly harmonious day on the home front. This is a good time for a promotion or additional authority or credit too. Numbers of that day are 29, 27, and 20. Okay, so there's clarity. There's a new kind of teamwork. This is a manifestation connecting um, both of you doing things out of unconditional love. Wow. And you both are, it's a, it's harmonious teamwork basically is what it is. Beautiful numbers. Tuesday, there is a lucky T-square again involving Jupiter and Sagittarius in which will make, uh, in which you will be forced to make a decision. Will you release the 3D anchors? Will you walk the walk and come from a place of compassion, integrity, and gratitude? You must choose the high road to achieve a higher bright vibration in order to align you cannot create the future if you are not truly present okay you are not truly present if you have anchors in the past so 
choose unknown future you can create or known hell repeating your mistakes over and over again have you truly learned your lesson or are you doomed to repeat the time loop slash groundhog day you've been trapped in because you've been afraid of change time to exit that labyrinth if you take the higher road you might experience some kind of war reward just be patient it's crucial that you have faith and trust okay you will definitely be needing a lot of alone time at the moment to process everything that is going on around you okay i encourage you to look for the signs you are being supported you might not even have to look it the signs might be screaming in your face you know <laughs> you can be a forceful debater at this time too so if you are arguing a case including in a court of law make sure that your case is justified and it's not stemming from fear anger or vengeance on the flip side you could be feeling lazy um, have weak or poor financial judgment it's possible you could be too strict um, if you are it could cause anxiety or nervousness um, somebody could be touchy and argumentative um, short fuse of course as long as you hold that negative energy it could lead to health issues or the health issues are because of the negative attitude numbers for that day are oh, Jesus <laughs> okay what do we have we have 9 10 10 2 2 2 5 3 10 sorry about that okay so let's start with the numbers of the day 30 and 19 19 is the number of the Sun okay it's growth okay and 30 is about new information or new knowledge beautiful okay then we have 18 19 19 20 20 20 and 23 18 is a number of healing it's setting an example through healing purging um, ending things that no longer serve you or are toxic to you and it's also completion of a cycle moving forward with something new okay and this something new it's a new partnership a new teamwork or a new balance okay as long as everybody is confident in their boundaries and confident in themselves and confident excuse me confident about what they're doing and where they're going where they want to go their destiny wednesday the moon moves into optimistic create the optimistic courageous and bold energy of aries aries is a born leader aggressively going for it any chance they get their trailblazing fighting spirit is open to change and is naturally a very confident outspoken energy at this time your ability to perform under pressure can bring you success in business and government even though you don't appreciate anyone or anything having power over you <laughs> no control issues there <laughs> pluto then saturn stationed and then went retrograde and conjunct with and over the south node now this conjunction happens only once every 92 years so this is literally a once in a lifetime chance to go back in time go back to the beginning and change repair or fix what should have never happened in the first place okay it will be it will be weighing on your mind people in situations can be unpredictable now and if you have any disappointments or letdowns at the moment it, it should be a lot easier to deal with okay there will be consequences for past mistakes if you haven't acknowledged or accepted them or made any reparations but it's time to grow up and put your life in order and find that balance in between so you leave behind the two choices like victim and abuser and emerge with a new choice savior and hero there could be some important personal communication with some news possibly regarding or pertaining to children that may need to be discussed negotiated or reviewed before issuing any kind of document contract statement offer or before signing and submitting anything okay there is also the possibility of some kind of vehicular accident or an accident in transit or during travel that could change your plans or change your destiny okay this transit acts like mercury retrograde to where there's this giant monkey wrench thrown into your plans threatening to knock you off course surrender go with the flow and surrender to what is okay you are still supposed to persist although you may have other roadblocks to overcome before you can get completely clear of those energetic blocks 
This may mean taking a sabbatical or a re uh, restful and regenerative me time, but I encourage you to take the time you need. But if you take too long, the universe will provide a kick to your butt to get you moving again. <laughs> Just trust that everything is perfect exactly as it is. And ask yourself, what lesson are you supposed to learn from this test? Is this an exercise in trust or patience? Either way, make sure you respond coming from a place of compassion, gratitude, and integrity. And have faith that everything will work out exactly when it's supposed to. Okay, numbers for that day are 1 and 18, so there's a new beginning and there is an example being set through healing, coming from a place of unconditional love, okay? And it's the first day in May, so the month is 5, which is about change, surprises, gifts, confidence, and boundaries, healthy self-esteem. The year, universal year, is still a 12, which is asking us to surrender and come from a higher purpose uh, perspective. And the universal month is 17, okay? That is the wish card in Tarot. It is about a legacy. Having a wish granted, that's part of your legacy. This is a permanent thing that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. So any changes you make this month is going to affect you the rest of your life. This is a permanent implant okay and then we have additional numbers of 20 21 21 and 23 so there's this new partnership you guys are working together to help each other heal take care of things um this is fresh this is new everything's starting to come together it's starting to culminate and you guys are beginning to authentically be yourself within this team this is your backup okay and then we have 25, which is still about confidence in boundaries and healthy self-esteem. So that makes one, two, two fives. We like to see fives because that could mean a present or a gift or a surprise. We also have one, two, three. We still have three threes. So that's information and knowledge coming in. One, two, three, five, 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 eight, nine. Okay, I just had to double check the numbers. Like I said, I didn't preview them. Usually I preview them and I have, you know, the double numbers highlighted and underlined. <laughs> Thursday, there is this sense of rushing to get things done. In a hurry, in a hurry is what I kept feeling. You might not want to be bothered with details at this moment, but you're highly intelligent and you're pretty sharp and clear in terms of your mind. You have leftover thoughts in the back of your mind urging you to do some, do this and do that, okay? But I would advise you to be logical, okay? Be rational and consider the consequences of all your words and actions. Remember to respond instead of reacting and don't let setbacks and roadblocks unsettle you. And also don't squander your precious energy resources on something toxic. If you can get past this test and accept the reality of your situation, it will give you an optimistic feeling of power. In fact, it might help you find a peaceful, tranquil place in the craziness of it all. You might want to take a road trip or read or write today. Someone can be extremely moody or jealous, especially if this is a first marriage. Okay, um, A lack of confidence in the self and in finances may bring some unpleasant sensitivities up to the surface. Mm. If somebody acts out angrily due to nerves and built up tension, you might want to take a road trip together, uh, get out of the house or, you know, leave the room in a, your own separate space and go read a book or write, write in your journal. <laughs> Numbers for that day are 2 and 19, okay? So 2 is about intimate, one-on-one -on -one communication. It's partnership, teamwork, harmony, and balance. We also have 19, which is the number of the sun, okay? So 2 is actually the number of the moon. So we have the sun and the moon working together, okay? So there's some light being shed on darkness. So it's beginning and endings, completion of a cycle, Holding space for something new, moving forward with a new beginning of working together or in a new team. Um, 23, 23, 23 is another. Oh, we have four fives today. So there's changes. There's confidence. There's boundaries and gifts and surprises. Oh, we love the fives. Yay. <laughs> 
Friday, the moon moves into comfortable, trustworthy, security-minded Taurus, but won't be exact new moon until Saturday. This is a very warm, affectionate, practical, and grounded energy. This is also one of the most stubborn energies in the zodiac, okay? The sign is ruled by Libra, so there is a heightened concentrated sensuality, okay? You only want true love, and how fitting for it to be on Friday, the day that Venus rules. <laughs> Okay, you feel more stable sharing your space with loved ones, um, a relish kind of intimacy. You might be feeling quiet and reflective, introverted, and you resourcefully deal with problems with that legendary Taurus determination. Black Moon Lilith enters Pisces today, lighting fire to the hot seat you're already in, stemming from the Pluto-Saturn conjunction. This Black Moon asks that we surrender to what is happening and sacrifice the desire to change it, secure in the knowledge that you are exactly where you need to be, and to trust, capital letters, that you are being guided to your higher purpose by the powers that be. This is also a wake-up call and a predestined course correction. Lilith will be helping the conjunction produce an evolution of consciousness now, giving us lessons in trust, and I heard intuitively tear down the walls, <laughs> um, vulnerability, reactionary judgments, and conscious and unconsciously deep-rooted habits like addiction, um, habits, <laughs> traditions, and enemies, open enemies with the sign being in Tor with the sun being in Taurus, excuse me. There is a sense of feeling suffocated in which you defiantly will not conform or be restricted or held back in any way. Okay, there could be a total meltdown when there is resistance to change. Um, think crazy, <laughs> freaking crazy. This could come out as projection leading to an expression of unhappiness and a confrontation leading to the confrontation of the self. What is your responsibility in this? But if someone is aware of their failures and where they fall short, it is possible to preempt self-sabotaging behaviors and thinking. Time to take the high road, acknowledge you are the only one responsible for your own happiness, and you also need to forgive yourself for your trespasses, okay? Self-love. We have numbers of, oh, two and three, okay? So three and 20. So this, there's some more knowledge, um, some, some new knowledge, okay? And this is in regards to the new team, the new balance, or the new harmony that's being created. Saturday, we have a new moon in Taurus. This is a time to brainstorm some ideas to secure your securities. <laughs> How can you make life more comfortable? How can you feel more at home wherever you go? Home, work, or out in public, you will be concerned with all practical matters and all manners of material security. Time to fix up the home in order to go home or feel at home. Your imagination is very powerful at this time and it may prompt you to spend your energy on creating something beautiful even if you're just rearranging furniture. This could have quite the grounding effect and you're needing it with the sun shining on and pointing to where you've been stubborn or with the sun putting the focus on your deep-rooted habits, addictions, obsessions, and compulsions. You will have a choice to make, okay? Will you transform from the pain from the past into a victory or will you resist destiny's call for change? There's no time for fools. You must follow your heart. Otherwise, your selfish and demanding ways will get you all the alone time that you need. Okay, numbers for that day are 4 and 21. 4 is a number of manifestation. It's grounding. It's control. It's stability. Okay, and then we have 21, which is authenticity. It's a culmination. It's expressing yourself with joy. And then we have following up, we have 14 and 14. Oh, we have five, four fives again. Yay, give some surprises. 14 is the number of social media. It's justice, happiness. It's also Sagittarius, okay? So it's optimistically happy, <laughs> okay? Then we have 20, 20, 20, 20. So both of you guys are very clear on what needs to be done, on what kind of harmony you need to produce, and you guys are all in all in okay then of course the 23 the number of confidence and boundaries okay guys that's all i got for you this week i feel like i've been talking forever <laughs> stay tuned for my full moon and taurus report and that's happening on may 4th but i'll get it issued before then all right you guys until next time love you take care